introduce Mr. David Lang. Normally, you write a script, and uh, a script uh, is based on ideas if it's an original script. And so you try to catch ideas, and if they don't, if the whole thing doesn't unravel in one idea, you get fragments. And then when you get a fragment of an idea, you write it down. And then you get another idea and you write it down. And hopefully, one day you have a finished script. On this particular film, I would get an idea, write it down, and then go shoot it. And um, so I didn't know if a whole thing would emerge. I didn't know how this scene, then I get another idea, write that and shoot that, and it doesn't, I don't know how it, one relates to the other. And, but it didn't really bother me. Um, I just kept doing that until one time it kind of started um, unfolding how they all re related. The same process in a, is in a script, but now they're, the pieces have been shot up to that point. And then it goes faster because they, it draws in you know, many things and you can roll along. Laura um, uh, stuck with me and um, in the beginning it was mostly Laura and, and some Polish people in Łódź Poland. And then, um, so Laura, we'd work on like say the first scene and talk and there was a character there. And uh, so we talked just like um, you would talk if you were gonna shoot a feature, but you're just talking about one scene. The second thing, now you've got the first to go back to. So the second thing, even though it, I don't know where it's gonna fit or if it's gonna fit, you talk about that scene and maybe how it has some resonance to the first. Um, but you need, it, this trust thing is, is critical, especially when she sees this little toy camera. So if it's a great big giant, you know, Panavision, people sort of take that more seriously. <laughs> and if there's a huge crew around, but if it's a toy camera, uh, and there's no crew, uh, then it's, um, you're asking a lot of someone. And uh, so, bless her heart, Laura, you know, stuck, stuck by. But it's scene by scene, and then when you got a couple, you're always going back to the beginning. I go over to Wooch, Poland, and um, I started, I fell in love with the city, and uh, these people, and these factories. And then I, I started getting ideas in that place. And so once, I, once that's happened, um, uh, you know, this happened. <laughs> when you're dealing with an abstract picture, and, as opposed to a straight ahead narrative, say, but it's, it's, it's a straight ahead narrative. It's just, um, it's just a different narrative. And you go the same way. Um, it's, um, you're working a thing yeah, and a straight ahead film, you work a scene till it feels correct. And this, you work a scene till it feels correct. The order of scenes, there's a, there's a, a thing that you find by sometimes action and reaction, trial and error, um, but it start, it's always talking to you. And so you just go, you just go until it feels, it, till it feels right. There's many films that inspire me, but um, I always say my greatest influence uh, was the city of Philadelphia. But ideas are the thing. You catch an idea, it doesn't come from Fassbender, it doesn't, I don't know where they come from, but they pop in. And sometimes you fall in love with an idea and see a way that cinema could translate it and you're rolling. And the idea dictates everything. There's an expression, the world is as you are. So um, when things get a hair more abstract, um, you get a lot of different interpretations. And so if you see it that way, totally beautiful. Uh, maybe one more really quick question. What's next? Oh. Uh, Good one. <laughs> uh, what's next is um, I'm going to go home and, and try to catch ideas.